Today we're learning how to crochet the lemon peel stitch. To begin, crochet in multiples of two. Let's move on to row one, shall we? To begin, chain one. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then in that second chain from your hook, crochet a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Perfect. Then crochet a double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, two loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Great! Then in that next chain stitch, crochet a single crochet. If you're not 100% familiar with the single crochet stitch, I have an easy tutorial on my channel that I'll link in the description. Then in the next stitch, crochet a double crochet. Once again, if you're not familiar with this stitch, I have an easy tutorial on my channel. There you go. Now you'll want to continue the pattern of crocheting a single crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the following stitch all the way across until you reach the end of this row. Once you reach the end of row one, you'll want to move on to row two. So to begin, chain one. So yarn over and pull through that loop on your hook. Then turn your work so you're crocheting in the other direction. Now in that first stitch, same stitch as the chain one, crochet a single crochet. Then in the next stitch, crochet a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook in that next stitch, yarn over, pull back through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops left, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Perfect. Then in that next stitch, crochet a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull back through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Then crochet a double crochet in the next stitch. Perfect. So you'll want to continue repeating the pattern of crocheting a single crochet in that next stitch and a double crochet in the following stitch all the way across until you reach the end of this row. So this is how it'll look after you've completed row 1 and 2. Continue repeating row 2 until you reach a desired length. After you've repeated row 2 multiple times, you'll notice this adorable and quirky design taking form, which resembles the peel of a lemon, thus the name. Lemon peel stitch also happens to be reversible, meaning it looks equally cute on either side, making it the perfect stitch to use when crocheting cozy scarves and chunky blankets. Be sure to check out my blog hopefulhoney.com for lots of free crochet patterns. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe.